He's like, Dad, when does Scotland kick off? And he's like, every 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so many stocks are very low right now. Please buy into them. Invest, man, invest. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Before, before everyone's everybody gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I was supporting them. I yeah. backed them. <laughs> like Hamza. <laughs> like Hamza. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying this for some time. Okay. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Football by Dummies. Euro season is here. And in this episode, we're going to tell you why Germany are going to win Euro 2024. Right before that, guys, do like, share and subscribe. And uh, I think Asper Hamza, clear favourites to win Euro. So and the host, and the host yeah. it always helps to be the host in a tournament. So over to you, Hamza. Yeah. Why do you think? I mean, Unless you're Brazil. Unless yeah. your name is Brazil. Or if you're South Africa <laughs> or if you're Qatar. So actually, it doesn't help to be the host, guys. But, but, you know, so I think I'm one of the very few people backing Germany, Deutschland, the fatherland, yeah. whatever you might want to yeah. call them. But okay. there's something about this team. They're very underrated. Uh, sorry, before we move on. So, Germany is not even ranked in the top 10 countries of the world in FIFA. That just sounds crazy. That yeah, sounds it's, insane. It's true. It's so, th- they're, they're number 13, you know. And a lot of people, when they see the rankings, they base their predictions mm-hmm. on the rankings. So, I genuinely think the rankings are just a bunch of uh, yeah. hocus pocus. Which never Belgium, works out. Exactly. Belgium is number two, guys. <laughs> yeah, Belgium. Yeah, Belgium was number one for so long. <laughs> So they're always there. So that's just uh, kind of bonkers that. But the current Germany team has been completely revamped. They've uh, let go of Joachim Lowe. They've mm-hmm. let go of uh, Hansi Flick. They've got in a young manager, a young team, uh, nice fresh stars coming up. And the squad looks rejuvenated. And I, for one, I'm very excited to see how it plays out. So I've got a couple of things that you guys need to know uh, mm-hmm. as to why Germany is going to win this tournament. So number one is their squad. Okay, they've got lovely squad depth. They've got a great balance going on in and around the team. And the best thing that I like about the squad is that they're not just specialists in their role, but they're all versatile players. Every midfielder of Germany is a versatile player. You name it. You look at Gundogan, you look at Cruz, you look at Andrich, you look at Musiala, you look, you look at Wurz. All of the all of them can fulfill multiple roles in the system. And that's what I actually like to see, you know, because As we've seen in the last World Cup, Argentina went on to win the World Cup not by deploying one tactic, but they did so by varied formations and different tactics for every team, playing with the front two sometimes or with the front four at times. I think the only way you can probably win a tournament is by being able to adapt to others. Don't you guys think so? Yeah, definitely. I, I think so. I think so. And I, I agree with your point. Like, I, I look at Germany's midfield options right now and it's amazing. Like, because if you recall, Germany over the last eight years have had pretty bad options. And now you look at their midfield, it's got Pascal Gross. And what many people may not know, he's actually accumulated an incredible amount of expected assists in the Premier League over the last two to three seasons. So he might seem like a random name, but it's actually quite impressive. Dude, Ilkay Gundogan, Tony Kroos, Musiala, Dude, Pascal Sane. Pascal Gross was my go-to for... FPL. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Dude, exactly. You have in your team, you're for sure getting four or five points. Yeah, and yeah, I want to sure, apologize man. to Pascal Gross. I don't know how I spoke about versatility and forgot to mention Pascal Gross. That guy can play on, on every man, position of the field. Dude, every yeah. position bro <laughs> literally he, every he, what position what a player man. man he's like the german james milner i think literally is the german james milner <laughs> so then they also have florian wurz and leroy zane yeah it's a it's a very stacked team uh, in the midfield department it's a little yeah. weak you might say on the forward department but they've still got havertz and they've got an in form full crook playing yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so it's it's going to be what a goal yesterday I, oh, I, if people if you guys saw the goal, match yeah. yesterday 5-1 Incredible What stuff, man. What a goal, like. yeah. And at this age, 32, I think it's his first international tournament. That's also. right, yeah. that's right. And they, ba- just, they battered Scotland, yeah. man. And uh, they expected <laughs> goals for Scotland was zero. Okay, And I saw this really funny tweet uh, about a, Sc- a Scottish boy and a Scottish man sitting together. And he's like, Dad, when does Scotland kick off? And he's like, every 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 so it was a dominant performance by the hosts. Just one disclaimer to everybody. I did not choose Germany as my favorites to win the Euros after last night's games, guys. I've yeah, been saying this for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I've been <laughs> saying this for a couple of weeks. <laughs> no, guys. Germany, Germany are the truth, guys. Germany are the truth. So, we've yeah. just mentioned or just spoken about the squad. A lot of people might be wondering who, who they've got in defense, right? They've still got mm-hmm. a few good players. They've got Rudiger. They've got Ta. Jonathan Ta. They, yeah, yeah, who's played exactly. really well. They've got a man, uh, Kimmich. Uh, yeah. Another Mr. Yeah. Versatile. He, he was yeah. super versatile. Yeah. Exactly. Every player in their team can play multiple positions. Yeah, Now, it's, it's amazing, you, man. And what the best part about Germany is that when you have a squad filled with versatile players, now you've got a manager who is 
actually somebody who can deploy some right. good tactics, change them around, play with multiple formations. So in the past, we've seen uh, Germany line up in a four three two one. We've seen them line up in a four two two two, and yeah. previously we've also seen them line up with three at the back. This tournament, from the last game, we've seen that he's reverted back to a four two three one with Andrich and my man Mr. Cruz yeah. coming in the midfield. A young player, an upcoming player, Tony Cruz. <laughs> I don't know why he's <laughs> retiring, dude. He's uh, got no. I mean, no this is like the definition retire. of going out on the top, man. Possibly winning, cha- uh, won the Champions League, may win the Euros. Going out on the top, still one of the best midfielders in the world. He completed ninety nine out of one hundred and one yeah. passes yesterday. Dude, that is incredible, man. That is absolutely incredible. Yeah, Hamza, go on. I want to ask you a question. We were having this conversation yesterday, and you are sold on the two players that are Musiala and Wurtz. Do you think they're going to play a big role? in this um, Euros. Do you think they can drive them to success? Absolutely. If last night's game is anything to go by, definitely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And guys, yeah. that's that's the beauty of this German team. So they deployed Wurz and Musiala on the wings against Scotland. Yeah. They weren't even yeah. playing in the midfield. So they packed up the midfield. They deployed yeah. their two best young attacking midfielders on the wings and they ran riot, dude. They ran yeah. riot. Yeah. And again, again, I keep talking about versatility. The fact that these guys played so well out on the wings so whenever yeah. you need to like control a game, you need to deploy many, many, many more midfielders. More, more midfielders, midfielders. exactly. This yeah. is where you can fit them into the system. And I genuinely yeah. think they're very unpredictable. They are great at ball progression and carrying the ball. Lovely passers, lovely finishers, great at shooting. I can just go on and on about those two players. I think they are the star players of this team, backed okay. by a Tony Cruz who can pick them. And as a duo, as you mentioned like rightly, as a duo, they're fantastic uh, together. Uh, absolutely. I, 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 and they're so aesthetic, man. There's something very aesthetically <laughs> pleasing about this Germany team. You have Gundogan, mm. who's one of the best. Like, I mean, his technique is immaculate. Tony Cruz is like he doesn't have a sweat on his head when he plays a game. <laughs> Musiala is just magic. Same with Wurtz. I mean, like, they have yeah. some real... And their coach, uh, let's not forget their coach. This guy's had a really rough time last two years because of the crazy circus that's Bayern Munich right now, which is, feels weird to say because we're used to Bayern Munich being excellent, but they've been a madhouse in recent times. They're going to come back they strong. They will come back strong, come man, back with strong. Vincent company. company in charge. <laughs> oh, man, the revolution, the company revolution is here to stay. He's going to bring that Burnley masterclass of... <laughs> Finishing 19th and getting relegated. <laughs> there are only 18 teams, so he can feel happy he won't finish 19th this year. <laughs> improvement, improvement, guys. So, back to Germany. You get the point. Nagelsmann is an incredible coach who did not have the resources or the time in Bayern Munich. And he he is going to come into this tournament motivated to show that he is amazing. And he's filling in big shoes of our former booger sniffing, ass crack sniffing, <laughs> <laughs> Joachim Lowe. We miss him. He, he contributed so much to world football, especially with his antics. <laughs> but it's big shoes to fill. And I think he's going to be the... True. I think he's the X factor. So we were talking about X factors previously. I think the X factor for them is tactical versatility. Like Hamza mentioned, because right. of the players and the coach. And also, uh, guys, for Nagelsmann, he's a young guy calling the shots in this German national team. He is not yeah. afraid to keep out Hummels from Dortmund or keep yeah. out Leon Goretzka. And the only reason why I kept them out was because there was a feeling in the camp that these guys would not appreciate starting from the bench. Okay, yeah. So just to yeah. keep the morale high and to keep the team uh, filled with energy, he decided to yeah. drop those two us. And they might turn out to be big misses, but I think that's a big shout from the manager. And actually, to be very honest, it's making me believe in the whole German project even more. Yeah, and guys, yeah, we've yeah. we've spoken about a lot of different aspects of this team. We've spoken about versatility. We've spoken about youth. We've spoken about class. Yeah. There is one thing that is missing from this team, and that's mm-hmm. one madman. Yeah. To our surprise, that's also filled by this guy called Antonio Rudiger. <laughs> so I don't think there's any box that this German team can tick. You you do I, need I, one madman to win a Antonio Rudiger <laughs> celebrating with Ancelotti. <laughs> He caught his jacket and he's like and he's shaking him okay and there's some fans saying he's like yesterday dude even yesterday I don't know if you saw him celebrating the full crack goal this guy's got a slight uh, so apparently he, he had a fallout with full crack yeah. in, in the training yeah. yeah yesterday if you saw him he started banging his head dude 10 times <laughs> Rudiger is just like I, you would love to have him on your team but yeah. you'd be scared to play the game yeah. and he seems a bit unstable guy, at any point in time. The guy was so excited to play in the Euros and he was so excited to get on the score sheet that he did yeah. so for Scotland. He didn't care what, <laughs> to, 
<laughs> what took <laughs> what it took for him to be on this coach sheet a goal is a goal okay yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter where <laughs> jamie carragher would approve with his seven own goals for liverpool he would approve that message a goal is a goal okay <laughs> but yeah that being said i kind of agree with your points about germany but i still think that in terms of star power they're a little bit lacking in terms of experienced mm. match like, winners i still think that i think up front yeah, um the, up front it doesn't give me much hope doesn't look like a scary yeah, option yeah i i have my skepticism towards that but we'll have to see we'll have to see and i think that yeah. is the question to our audience what do you think like do you think a midfield that stacked can push you past the line because we've seen that before with spain spain have done that had a stacked yeah. midfield and that was yeah. enough but is that enough is the question Also guys just for the viewers I want to remind you the Germany stocks are very low right now please buy into them before Invest everybody manifest. starts raving about yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Before, before everyone's everybody gonna be like yeah yeah I Germany. was supporting them I yeah. backed them <laughs> like Hamza <laughs> like Hamza <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying this for some time okay <laughs> that's, that's, that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong <laughs> so anyway yeah. guys do let us know your feedback and <laughs> if you think Germany are the favorites then please give us a subscribe because that would be helpful Bye bye see you guys bye right, guys cheers guys bye thank you